You rejected democracy and wanted dictator Putin, so it is your responsibility. You should be ashamed and hide. Instead, you are happy and you make videos. You have no humanity. What? Hello Blazers, today's your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, I'm today. welcome to a brand new video. And here guys, today I'm again in the beautiful city of Belize, Georgia. I'm actually in like the most bougie neighborhood right now called Vake. It's pretty cool. But today's video is not about that. In today's video, again, I wanted to um, address a certain sentiment I've seen a lot in my comments recently, which is basically saying that essentially I'm like a terrible person who has never denounced any actions of the Russian government. And also I don't talk about Ukraine enough. And also uh, I'm basically like a hypocrite who only fled uh, because of sanctions and I don't care about any Anything. And then I should basically, you know, go back to Russia and just uh, overthrow the government all by myself. And then maybe those people will like me. In particular, there were a lot of comments like that under my last video in which I talked about what it's like being a Russian right now, like outside of Russia, abroad, what it feels like. And uh, in that video, I literally just said that it's pretty much okay and that like I don't really face any discrimination or anything. But everybody on that video seems to think that I've been complaining and playing in victim the whole time. So uh, let's read a few comments. And to be honest, guys, I, uh, for some reason I try to be neutral, but at this point, to be honest, I'm gonna just go hard on these people. These are literally people that have no idea what it's like to grow up in a country like Russia. These are people who have no idea what I'm going through. And also, these are basically people that are probably texting from their three-bedroom house in a U.S. suburb who have never seen any real hardship in their entire life. Let's look at this comment, for example. Some of you will accuse me of playing the victim. Yeah, that's accurate. That's all this video came across as. Poor little old me. Guess you have nothing to say about the Ukrainians in 11 minutes of time you wasted from my life. To just put it short, the reason why I'm not like extensively covering the news from Ukraine or whatever is first of all, I'm not a news agency, okay? And the second reason is also that um, in Russia right now, they already passed a new law. It's already been implemented. Basically, the law is against like spreading fake misinformation about the uh, actions of Russian military and stuff like that. And literally, as far as I understand, this law makes it illegal to call whatever's going on right now uh, by the three letter words that starts with the letter W, okay? You gotta call it a special military operation and also if you post pretty much any information that's like not the same as what the state uh, media says in Russia you basically could be uh, labeled as somebody who's uh, spreading misinformation and fake information and also um, you could literally go to jail for up to 10 or 15 years this is not a joke this is like an actual law they just passed and there's already been at least like three pretty big journalists in Russia that have had criminal cases started against them for just doing exactly that doing exactly what you guys want me to do okay and I'm gonna be quite well quite honest, I'm gonna be quite frank, the reason why I'm not doing this is because I'm scared, okay? I do not want to be a wanted criminal in Russia, okay? It's my home country, I have relatives and friends there, I wanna go back and see my fucking family, okay? So I know you guys are like hardcore as fuck, and uh, if you were in my position, you would probably be like, just shit on the government, cool, I believe you, I guess, but to be quite honest, if you were in my position, you would be doing the exact same thing. I do not really think there is anything morally wrong to do that in order to not lose the ability to literally see your fucking family family. Okay, no longer subs. Rather watch Russian YouTubers still in Russia, walking in protests in Russia and openly defying Putin on their channels. Not some money-making self-censored YouTuber moaning that no one is treated in this country with respect as it films in a country that has also been invaded by Russia. This is fucking nonsense. Literally, I have not said that in that video at all. Again, like the whole video was basically saying that like 98% of the people treat me completely fine. You know, it's not an issue at all. But I doubt these people watch this video in full to be completely honest. And yeah, of course, I have respect for people that are still in Russia and are still talking about what's going on and it's a huge risk and uh, I've done that for years I mean if you actually like not discovered me in the last week or something if you watch my channel I've trolled the line a couple of times in my videos and like I've always watched my every single fucking word so that I don't get into trouble okay you guys don't even understand what it's like so again you're speaking from a comfort of your like suburbs house in white America and you don't know what the fuck it's like a young and progressive youtuber not even once condemning the deeds of his government literally false just bitching about small inconveniences you move to a country with russia attack not that long ago and then get pissed when they ask you to not speak russian in the bar i didn't even say i got pissed it was just kind of weird and i actually complied with it it's not like i started a fucking riot and then i was like fighting everybody saying no let me speak russian that's not what happened at all you have no idea what i stand for and what i'm like in real life talking about russophobia and western propaganda believe me it'll be much worse oh okay it's cool so you're basically saying that and the russians are gonna be you know getting killed in the streets and you approve of that yeah i don't fuck with you man man. There's another point I want to address as well is that a lot of people are kind of mad at me because in my videos I've never once like asked, asked anybody to donate to Ukraine essentially. Well the reason is actually quite simple as well. Uh, so like this comment right here is one good example of that. If he was bitching about sanctions but ended his video with oh by the way guys I have linked some official sites so we can donate money to Ukraine I will be fine. He has a million followers now it's the least he could do but he's asking donations only for himself and it's putting me off him. First of all the reason why I'm not uh, basically posting anything regarding donations for Ukraine is because they 
also passed a law which basically uh, says that if you spread information like that or if you ask people to donate or if you do it yourself, it could be literally counted as treason. And again, you also could go to jail for like 10 fucking years. So uh, that's something I would like to avoid. So it's flat out fucking simple. I want to see my family. Because for some reason, people don't really understand this as well. People think that like if you're a person who's a Russian national, if you move to another country, even for like a small period of time, you can just fucking say whatever now. That is not how it works. I still continue to be a Russian citizen and also the fact is, is that in the future if one day I want to like go to Europe for example if I want to like study in a university or whatever usually what they ask from you is like a paper that shows that you've you have no criminal cases against you basically right and yeah if I would talk a lot of shit I will have one on me and uh, that will basically close my entire prospects for my whole fucking future life okay so that is something as well that I would kind of like to avoid you know what I mean but of course you don't care because you have no idea what it's like to be Russian you have no idea what it's like to live in Russia to come from my country and to watch every word you say. This wind is fucking killing me though, but like look at this neighborhood though. It's really really cool. Holy shit, this is like, this is dope. I like to live in this neighborhood to be honest. Now this next comment is great as well, uh, from Alpha Beta. <laughs> Two facts. These are not gonna be facts, just saying. Roman left Russia not because he's a dissident, but because of business issues, as he expects YouTube to be banned just as Facebook or Instagram. I never heard him saying that he protested publicly in any way against Putin. Okay, so uh, it's bad that I left Russia because I'm not a dissident. That is bad. I mean, these people literally want me fucking locked up in fucking jail. That's what's going on. Or they want me to be like a fucking martyr, to destroy my life in a process that's not gonna change shit like Westerners don't really understand but like all these sanctions that are imposed right now that are hurting the regular Russian people people boss people are basically saying online if you go on reddit or whatever people are saying yeah we understand that these sanctions are impacting the regular Russian people but this is done so that they rise up and overthrow the government it is not going to happen I'm telling you right now all these sanctions that have been imposed restricting Russians tra from traveling abroad you know putting uh, trouble into their daily life it literally only is beneficial for the government because then they can say oh look everybody's against us let's all you know get together and support our, you know, our leaders. These sanctions literally do not hurt the regime in the slightest. If anything, they make the propaganda machine work even better. Sorry, I got carried away for a second. But basically, yeah, this comment is a crock of shit. And again, I don't really even see what's so bad about leaving a particular place because you can't really get paid anymore. I mean, this is literally, like this YouTube channel is literally like my child. You know, I worked my whole, basically, my whole life ever since I was a kid in school, like a teenager, to build this channel. And it would suck to have that taken away from me. So again, I don't really see your points. And if you were in my situation you would do the exact same fucking thing you don't know what it's like to be me okay you have no fucking idea second fact uh bold is an admirer of putin he personally confessed to that and most probably a russian government influence agent these are not facts bro these are not facts <laughs> this next one is pretty good as well unsubscribing from all russian creators as interesting as it was seeing your side of things it's wrong for me to support channels like yours yeah bro you unsubscribing for me is not gonna save kids in ukraine you fucking moron Holy shit. It's not even like you have ever made it clear you think this uh, special military operation is wrong. Oh my god, I can't believe this shit. Like, this is fucking insane. You kind of sit on the fence, which is what all Russians do, which is how Putin stays in power. How am I sitting on the fucking fence? How am I sitting on the fucking fence? My life is in fucking shambles, dudes. I literally am out because I don't feel like safe being in a society anymore, okay? I don't feel like I belong there. Again, like, I literally feel like most of these people that are leaving these comments, they're like, oh wow, this place is fucking beautiful. Look at this. Holy crap. It's like a whole walkway to the top of the mountain almost here. Really sick. Anyway, my first time in this location. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that the people that are leaving comments like these, to be quite honest, I feel like these people fucking hated Russians forever. And now they just found like a justifiable reason to shit on us. And I'm talking about the regular people, okay? Like, let's be quite fucking honest. Most of these people, they have no idea of like what the political realities of Russia are like. They have no clue. And about a month and a half ago, if you told these people to point out Ukraine on the map, they wouldn't fucking even know where it is. You know, guys, <laughs> I know I'm coming off super fucking angry in this video but honestly i am i am because of course most of the comments i'm getting are super positive people understand what the fuck is going on but a lot of these comments are fucking nonsense and for these people i'm just always not doing enough so i'm fucking down pleasing y'all okay i'll just be me and i'm not gonna make videos about making which you know quite literally would put me in danger i'm not gonna sacrifice my fucking life and freedom for your entertainment and for your feeling of me being a good person because in my fucking core i know what i am okay i know what i stand for and you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about the problem with your point of view is exactly what you said. You are playing the victim. <sighs>
I don't hate Russians, but I have disdain for them now. Okay, that's cool, right? That's cool. You're not in the wrong for that. You hate a whole fucking nationality. You hate over 200 million people, dude, for the fact that they have Russian blood. That is fucking insane. You pretend like this is out of your control or it's not your actions, which is blatantly false and a wrong way of looking at it. Then he talks about you should watch the documentary about 2015 Ukrainian revolution. La la la. Russians would rather run away like cowards and pretend it's someone else's problem. Holy shit. I'm a coward. Yeah, guys, I'm a fucking coward. I'm bitch made. I'm a pussy, bro. Again, put yourself in my fucking shoes. Imagine you are not like fucking, you're not fucking Brandon, born in Ohio, who lives in his parents' three bedroom house in the suburbs and your father owns a Fortune 500 company, okay? Pretend you're like Roman, uh, born in some shithole, okay? With parents who made like maybe 200 bucks a month, who also lives in a country where, uh, you know, saying the one things could land you in jail and then see uh, how you're gonna fucking act. How much of a coward will you be? Look guys, quite honestly, I think I'm gonna just round off this video at this point because I've already said so much shit that already like these kinds of people that already fucking hate me just because I'm Russian and that like I'm not like getting raped in the ass in jail right now or something. I've already said like a hundred things in this video that they, these people will have a problem with. Definitely, there will be something I've said in this video which they're gonna be like make a fucking whole essay about and saying, Yeah, this guy is like, oh, he's playing the victim again. He's a victim of bullying from Western, from Western people who live in suburbs. I don't fucking know what they're gonna say. But anyway, what I've understood is that it's impossible to please these people. So if you understand what the fuck I'm talking about, then cool. I mean, I have no problem with you. And yeah, I've already said it pretty clearly. I'm not gonna put myself in danger and I'm not gonna sacrifice my whole fucking life to please some fucking out of touch American millennial on the internet, okay? So yeah, this was your boy no fuckers, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Although it was just basically me being fucking pissed for like, 10 minutes. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to slap the like on it, you know. If you guys want to support me additionally, once again, um, I have addresses of my crypto wallets down in the description. You can donate to me and support me right now because, like, my Russian cards don't even work or anything. And I'm only left to cash and crypto here, which is a, a bit of a nightmare. Talking about privilege, huh? And yeah, for all of you who understand what I'm talking about, thank you guys for all of your support and uh, there's gonna be more content to come. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.